and Chris Ockley with Missouri Track Fanatic and Running Junkie with uh, on the phone with Reggie Miller a week after uh, his performance at the NCAA uh, Division One Indoor Track and Field Championships and um, your third NCAA meet after 17th place finish in the high jump and outdoors in 2013 and then the 17th place triple jump finish in 2014 outdoors and Tell me what the mindset or what were you looking at, Reggie, the, uh, the well, also the Kansas City native and Ruskin high grad. Um, tell me what the what your mindset was coming into your first indoor national meet. Uh, my mindset, it was, um, I wasn't really expecting or looking to do too much. Uh, at the indoor season, my very first track meet, I had injured my hamstring. So I was coming off injury and, you know, I don't think anybody you know, really comes off injury and, you know, has their best performance or nobody comes off injury and, you know, it's a PR. So I was just happy I could end the season, you know, healthy and I just wanted to go out there and, you know, enjoy the atmosphere of uh, the indoor championship. And, you know, I probably, I like this one more than I like the outdoor just because, you know, at indoor, NCAAs, there's so many, like, real lead performances where you're out there and they're like, oh, the 200 meter is a real lead or they feel like the shot puts a real lead. And that's just something they, they don't have in the, uh, the outdoor championship. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, um, were you relaxed or nervous being your third NCAA meet, your first indoor, though? Were nerves any different than usual, or how, how were you feeling? Uh, I'd say personally, for me, and I guess a lot of other athletes that I guess have not that much on on the line. You know, maybe if I was at a bigger school, you know, there'd be pressure for me to, you know, go out there and score points. But I had no pressure at all, so I was out there, and I was just super relaxed. It was my third NCAAs. And, I, like, I'd seen, I saw a lot of people out there that I've met before from previous NCAAs. I think I knew probably about half the, the triple jumpers out there. Yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, tell me how it went. Obviously, came up short. You, you've fouled each three times, but I know Coach said, uh, talking with Coach, Cooler that uh, man, your first jump was a really good one. You just barely fouled and had a good mark that probably would have put you into the finals. Yeah, but honestly, I can't. I can't complain. If you look at all like the triple jumpers in the whole like U.S. and my, if you look, if you just look at everybody's first meet, I jumped the furthest out of any triple jumper at their first meet. Right. It was just it was just bad that I had to get hurt the, the very first meet, so I wasn't able to you know train or get faster or work on speed just because I had a rehab all sure. the way from the first meet up until conference. Yeah. Despite that time of being hurt and, uh, and missing, missing the training, were you, uh, happy with your, each of your jumps? Do you feel like you had your, uh, um, uh, you were, you were good going down the, down the runway? Got your steps down? I guess, I don't know. This is more of a personal thing. I'm just kind of like, Never really happy with any jump. I yeah. Okay. I, I kind of have like tendencies of being like a perfectionist because I also, I also shoot video and everybody they always you know they see my videos. I probably shoot a video on like five or six thousand dollars worth of cameras and people will be like, man, this looks amazing. I'm like, no. Right. Looks, I can point out so many flaws. So when people see my jumps, I posted the jump recently and people are like, man, you got like perfect form. And I was like, no, and it's just. So many things wrong with it technically, and I'm, I'm just that's just me, you know. I always look at the flaws, I guess. Right, right. No, I'm I'm similar, and it's uh, it's pretty frustrating. <laughs> um, yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, what did you get out of the experience at nationals? What uh, what what did you what are you taking away from from the experience that can help you going forward? Uh, the thing that's going to help me the most is um, while I was out there, I got to see. Um, I guess I guess just admire the other jumpers because at most competitions, or at least the most ones I go to for SEMA, I'm probably gonna like win. So it was, it was really good to go out there and see other like high caliber athletes jump it, and just seeing the way they jumped. And I saw some things in them when they were jumping that I don't have that I can add to my own triple jump technique to help me jump further. Yeah, yeah. Give me an example. What's one of those type of things? Uh, one thing I did notice was that, that uh, a lot of athletes, they jump, when they triple jump, they stay pretty low to the ground. The guy that got second place, throughout his whole jump, 
it was really, really flat and really, really low. But he still, he still jumped really far just because he was snapping that leg back. They call it like a pawing action where he like paw the ground and try to snap the ground backwards. He was doing that like really strong and that threw his body out forward. Versus me, whenever I jump, I'm just uh, really, really high. Probably, I'll probably get too high when I jump. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, either way, it's uh, for a guy who can't jump much of anyway. It's it's still impressive. Um, but uh, well, tell me about what you're looking forward to now outdoors. What's what's the goal for outdoors to uh, um, help? to win a conference title and help the team win another team conference title and make it back to NCAAs, I guess? Or what? what are your, what's your mindset now going forward? Uh, my mindset is, um, I say this year, for me, this year is, um, it's, it's what people, they like to call, you know, like the transfer from being a, a junior athlete to a senior level athlete. It's just like, um, it's, it's basically this is my transition year to try to make it to, the next level. And for me, I have to jump two to three feet further if I want to just, you know, go pro and track and just do it professionally where I just train for track. And that's just what I what I do for a living. Right, right. What's, uh... So... You, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so, that, that, that to me, that's like the only goal. I wake up every day and I probably work out five hours a day, usually five to six days a week because I know that's what it's going to take. Yeah. For me to reach that, that level of being real class. So hopefully by the summer I'll be at uh fifty four and a half or fifty five feet right. triple jump. Yeah, yeah. And uh what would that be like to uh qualify for, for USA championships? USA championship? Actually I think I think my mark from the first meet might uh it might have qualified me already. Oh, okay. I think I think fifty two is probably enough for USA. It's not that hard to make USA championship. I know definitely like uh if I would have went to USA uh indoor national championship, I could have got like third or fourth place. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, congratulations on the uh on getting there. I know it didn't go the way you wanted, but that's pretty impressive to get there after after the injury. So uh yeah. um thanks for the time and, and good luck outdoors. All right, thanks.